Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at DIY hot tub wall construction and what options there are. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so you're thinking about building a DIY hot tub. You've got a number of different options that you can consider for how you're going to create your walls. Now, all of these different options that I'll explore in this video are perfectly suited to any of the designs that you'll find in my shop. And I'll put a, a link below the video where you can find the plans and designs to be able to build your DIY hot tub. And of course, they come with all of the plumbing, the, the material lists. Uh, you can also get some architectural drawings if you want to as well. But all of those designs are totally suitable for any of these different methods of forming the walls. So what's the first type? Well, the first type that you could look at is a poured form. So what I mean by a poured form is that you're basically creating a mold for those walls. So out of wood, you are gonna create the, the shape and the mold that you will then fill with concrete and that will give you the walls and the, the shape of your hot tub. The benefit of poured forms is that you can actually put all of the plumbing in place before you pour any concrete. So there's no coring of holes or anything like that. You're, you're cutting holes into wooden forms that you're using to create the molds, but it's actually easier than coring a hole through a block, for example. What you also find is that the, the seal around the pipes on a poured form is a lot better than if you're trying to seal around a cord hole in a block. So that's one of the main advantages of a poured form. If you are creating a, a mold or a form, make sure you use lots and lots of bracing. The last thing you want is those walls to bow under the pressure and the weight of the concrete when it's poured. So make sure it's really well braced and that will give you a super flush, perfectly formed finish. The next option is a concrete block cavity. So what do I mean by that? Well, you can see one of those behind me. The concrete block cavity allows us to have a block, a space or a cavity and a block again. We would create the inner wall first. We would then core, fit the plumbing. Then we would add the insulation around that. Into that, we'd add some rebar. Then we would create the outer wall and then you would fill all of that full of concrete and that will give you a super strong structure so you don't need to worry about the weight of the water and those walls crumbling under that weight. You've got two layers of bricks and then inside of that, you've got that rebar as well as the concrete. So it gives you a really, really good and strong structure for your DIY hot tub wall. Next option. CMU blocks. So CMU blocks are the concrete blocks. They're the hollow concrete blocks and they're ideal for DIY hot tub wall construction because not only are they cheap, but you can also fill them with rebar and then pour your concrete in to give you that additional strength. So you've got a hollow block, you've got that metal rebar rod tying everything together and you would use your rebar every couple of bricks so that they were all perfectly tied together and then you'd fill it full of concrete and that gives you a really strong structure. The main advantage here is the price. It's a really cheap way of doing it. Top tip, core your holes, fit your gunites going through the blocks before you put your rebar in and certainly before you cut, pour the concrete. So get those in there first. It's a lot easier to cut through a hollow CMU block than it is to cut through a block that you filled with concrete and you've got some rebar in the way as well. So top tip there, just fit your plumbing before you actually insert the rebar and pour the concrete. Next option, it's gotta be my favorite at the moment, is ICF blocks. So those insulated concrete forms. If you remember, if you've seen the video, if you haven't, I'll put a link underneath. They basically look like Lego blocks. They have an insulation on the outside. They have a rebar structure on the inside. They're hollow. What this means, it's really, really easy to actually fit your plumbing to it because you're cutting out of polystyrene or the insulation rather than coring through a block itself. Really, really quick to actually put together. It's a bit like putting Lego together. They go up really quick. Major downside is the cost. They are not cheap. 
Uh, I would all, almost verge on saying that they were quite expensive. So do check out the price, but it's well worth it because you have that insulation or that R value in the wall before you're actually pouring any concrete as well. So they're super strong, super quick to put together, really easy to add your plumbing to, but for that convenience, you are gonna end up paying quite a bit more for the privilege. And finally, I'm gonna cover a in-ground cavity. So I've had a number of customers come where they had a, um, a hole where they've sunk a hot tub previously, or they had a, uh, we'll call it a pond that they've drained that they want to convert into a hot tub. So I'm gonna cover in-ground cavity. Basically to do this, you're gonna add an additional layer. You're gonna come in from your, your outer skin and you're then gonna fit your plumbing in the cavity and you're gonna add your rebar and you're gonna then fill with concrete. So it's quite similar to our cavity block way of forming walls, but this one I just wanted to cover, as you can see behind me here, I just wanted to cover it because I've had a number of people asking how they can convert existing holes or, or, or spaces that they have into hot tubs. And it's this method that you would use. Can be quite tricky to add plumbing if you've got a limited space. And if you are adding that cavity wall, just remember that the gunites themselves are about four inches wide, which is about, about 150 millimeters. So ideally you want to leave six inches or 200 millimeters space. So you've got a little bit of room to maneuver uh, and add those uh, bodies into that cavity. So if you're adding in ground, it can be tricky really down to the, uh, the space restraints. And also if you're doing that, make sure you add the lower drains first or before you go any higher than is required. You just won't be able to get in there and insert them if you build all the way up to the top before you add your uh, lower drains and your plumbing. So just be mindful of that when you're doing that. Which is the best method? Well, it really is down to personal preference. If you're good at laying blocks, then you're probably gonna prefer CMU or the, or the block cavity. If you're good with woodwork, then you're probably gonna look at concrete forms. So it really does come down to your own skill set. And if your budget isn't an issue, then ICF block all the way. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit me up with any questions that you may have. I appreciate the view. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.